Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. It's two versus the Overlords, and today we're going to try and take some things from the Overlords, namely supplies, valerium, maybe some alien alloys. Got a bit of a sit rep here. We should see more psionic enemies than we're used to. And that makes me realize that I don't think I have equipped our squad maybe quite as optimally as I could have. I have three guys carrying blue screen rounds. That's probably not the best. So I don't mind leaving one because we could easily fight. You know, there, there could be a mech or something there. So that's fine. Uh, but, you know, let's maybe mix it up a bit. I could bring a mine shield. Um, it's fine. We don't have a lot to choose from in the utility slots, so it is what it is. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Hopefully this squad can get the job done. We'll see what happens. What's that about? Steve King? Is he going to write a horror novel while we're out here? So I assume there's a... Maybe we have a resistance order. This is starting to come back to me that lets civilians or resistance guys join our squad randomly. Where's my Reaper? There it is. Let me go ahead and move forward. Says I am to obey. So one thing I am going to try and keep reminding myself of is we're not on a timer. Okay, so I do want to try to be, you know, very careful here. Now, they're far enough away. I don't think my Reaper can get in trouble, but yeah, I gotta admit, I don't love that. So let me come here and let me open this stupid door. Okay, well, we aren't gonna go any farther. I don't think I would trust coming here, even though it says I can. Because there could easily just be a guy we don't see. And that's all we would need is to, you know, set off that pod, especially on a dash. Moving out. That'd be bad. And man, I mean, really, really bad. Alright, um, where's my sapper? Huh. I had a sapper. Wait a minute, there you are. Okay, I don't know what was up with that. I feel like it wasn't selecting him, but maybe I just missed it. Okay, we're getting a little better, a little better picture now. So, in theory, I could come here. I just, I don't know how smart it is, man. What if I put the fresh meat there? On it. This is probably really stupid. Worked out. Okay, Heather. I don't want to be like totally bunched up, so come over here. 
This is it, right? Yeah, there's nobody else. We'll just overwatch all. Okay, well, I don't mind seeing this. I don't really want to fight two pods at once. Of course, they're moving in the same direction, really. Okay, we might be able to... Um, oh, you can't see them. I was going to say, we might be able to make that work. I mean, all I need to do is pull them. I just don't dare move forward. That's, you know, the big issue. I'm game. If I can kill these two before that other pod comes back, I mean, you can't tell me that's not good. And as I expected, they did move toward us, so. Think I'm gonna need to use a grenade on this guy. Oh, I see, he has cover. Well, I'm not gonna move forward. I will come here. Yeah, I was reasonably confident that I could get this shot this way. I was not going to move forward and risk Revealing that other group that we already know is there. Okay. Yeah, this is where it gets awkward. Okay, let me uh, let me do something here. What I really need to know is, is there anybody over this way? I will reposition. I've spotted an alien patrol. Ah. I'm going to call that a yes. Okay. But see, now I can tell where I can and can't go. Here's what I'm thinking. Since I can't actually do anything, I don't know if I want to move here, man. Okay, I'll come here. And I'm going to just throw a grenade. So this should let the rest of the squad have an easy target on this guy. Well, okay, it would have if he didn't get to move every time. Every time we target him. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, it kind of makes the grenades worthless. And I can't move up. I mean, that's just would be ridiculous. Now, hopefully he'll move this time. No, of course he doesn't. Why would he move when, you know, he's in a good spot? Would have been nice if I could have hit one of those. Just, you know. I know they're only 50-50, but... You hope... Okay, so now I'm 0 for 3 on my 50% chance. Since I got the hair trigger, let's go for 4. Alright, finally. This is where I wish I had a stock or something. Okay, I tell you what. Um, I can't be revealed if I, um, you know, fi if I get the kill. And I have a guaranteed kill. So... I feel pretty good about that. All right. I'm okay with this. Wow. 
What just happened? Something blew up. I guess a stray shot hit a vehicle or something way back there. It's a little unclear. Sectoid Mindbender, huh? Um, boy, they're just far enough apart. I, oh, hold on a second. He's near, he's near a vehicle. Is this a good remote start? I mean, it's not a terrible remote start. Okay, I don't think I want to stay where I'm at, though. I actually, I'm overthinking this. Hold on. Let me come back to him. I think, or her, I think we want to use the grenade. And let me get rid of all of the cover. Grenade out. No, I won't hit this guy. That's okay. He won't have cover. It'll be easy to hit him. Okay. I'm starting now, honestly. So... I think I go for it. Yeah, that guy was at full health and we had a legit chance at the kill, which we did get. Okay, I'll go. So now, with a little luck, might get another one. In fact, I don't need luck. I've got it. Oh, I'll, I'll, mm, is this safe? Am I too close to them? I think it's safe. In fact, I know it is because I can move away. And I'm going to do something like that. Maybe come here. I want to make 100% sure that I don't get revealed. Particularly, you know, on a flank situation. Okay, I don't want to move forward. We have very, very few guys. Oh man, you know, with actions left. I'm on it. And so the last thing I want to do is reveal these guys. Let me just go ahead and brace. And then, I think I'm just gonna reload him. I don't know. I can't imagine he'll see anybody, but that's fine. Okay. I, that worked out pretty well from my perspective. You know, we had essentially on this little area of the map, we had three pods. And we've been able to take out the first two without engaging more than one at a time. Uh, engaging more than one at a time, it's a very, very dangerous thing, so... I feel pretty good about it. Now, do I want to just go for a shot here? I kind of, kind of don't want to. I have an idea. Where's my Reaper? I don't think this is going to do anything. Do I want to use the Claymore? All right. What if I do it here? I shred all of them. And I'm not revealed. Like, it's pretty good. If I may say it. Oh, do I want to put anybody on Overwatch? I think so. For example, like, why not her? Um, where's that other dude? Steve, the author. <laughs> oh, you can't see. Um, well, I come here. Let's move already. 
and I can do this. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Let me just go ahead and shoot this and get this party started. So that's really good. They have a ton of health, so six damage, you know, only gets you so far, but still. Shredding all three and taking six. Oh, they have lightning reflex. Wait a minute, if he had lightning reflexes, how did the first guy get a hit? Do these guys not have the same abilities? That just seems weird. I don't get it. Maybe what it is, even though it showed us the shot where lightning reflexes kicked in second, maybe when the game was doing the math in the background, that one was actually supposed to be first. And then the, the you know, rookie or whatever, the resistance guy, Steve, maybe his was actually, you know, second and I don't know. It's just a thought. Uh, I think I want to save the Mimic Beacon. I may need it here. Do I want to use another grenade? Um, I don't really see it doing me that much good, if I'm honest. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it will. The problem, okay, I can break his cover. I'm not breaking his. And I'm not getting rid of his. So, doesn't actually feel like a great grenade to me. I guess I'll just shoot and take my best shot, even though it's not a good shot. Panned out. Damn, still has seven health. Okay. I gotta move closer. Okay. I'm trusting you here. I am just super excited about these 66% shots. I, I guess I can't complain too much. I just hit two in a row. I guess that's payback for the three 50 percenters in a row that I missed. <laughs> um, wow. Hmm. I am not going to have, like, any kind of shot here. You know what I'm seriously thinking is just come here. Be hopefully in a better position next turn. I'm not going to do anything meaningful anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move closer and I'm going to throw the beacon. And I don't want to go too far forward because there's probably another pod back there. Don't need that grief in my life right now. Could have done without him doing, you know, quite that much damage. All right, so the third guy is going to get to have his way. Oh. Well. Alas. No more horror novels for the XCOM squad. But, um... We tried. That's all I can say. We tried. Okay, I can't use a grenade on this guy. I, I will not risk anything that could destroy the supplies. <sighs> I 
You know what? Here's what I'm thinking. Let's just use combat protocol. Guaranteed kill. We're done. Or not a kill? Is he just going to go into stasis again? How many times does he get to do that? That seems like complete bullcrap. Okay, that sucked. Oh my god, I forgot about this guy. Okay, let me reload. I don't want to move closer because there could be another pod. Please be dead. Okay, good. Um. Okay. I'll come here. I I don't want to move any farther than that. Where's this? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, I mean, it's not great, but at least, you know, I did some work. I can't stay here. I think that would be a big mistake. It's way too easy for this guy to reveal me. So, what if I did something like, apparently, okay, I can't do that, but I can come here. They're not likely to move away from the others like they're very unlikely to do that uh let's do this let's use sting and i can at least get some damage in here pretty good damage too i mean if i could get one of these guys or this guy at least to stay dead i'd really be making headway but this is kind of rough I hope this dude doesn't do that. God. Okay. That's a lot of damage to eat. Oh, God. Well, okay. The flanking doesn't matter if he's using psionics. Yeah, this sucks. This sucks. Okay, let me reload. Oh, yeah. And then hopefully this guy actually dies. It would be nice. Okay, good. Yeah, honestly, like I'm getting a little antsy about it because that one dude I killed twice in a row and the game is just kind of like, yeah, so... And he's going to do it again. Now, for him, that's his first resurrection. But I don't like it. I, I don't like it. So let me do this. Um, I'm going to try and, you know, get as many guns on this dude as I can. Let me just reload. Oh, I don't need to. Never mind. Um, I mean, she can't really do anything, so I'll just come here. I need to heal, though. Okay, please kill him. Uh, okay. He's dead, despite that. Okay. Physician, heal thyself. You're gonna be fine. And then, who else got hurt? Somebody over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna dash. And then I'll heal again. You'll be fine. 
Okay. Yeah, we aren't in any particular hurry here, so I think it's time for some reloads and some overwatch. Um, I don't even know if I want to move in this direction, actually. I think I'll just go on overwatch. And then let's reload you. I loaded these cartridges myself. And maybe come here and see, me. like... No, nothing. Okay. Tired of well, I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and top off. So this is good because... Oh, well, never mind. Hold on. Let's see what happens here. I was just going to say, we have more reloads we need to do. And obviously my goal this turn would just go. be to finish that. Okay. Um, well, I am let's you. see. This one is uniquely graceful compared to some of the other species. Okay, that's quite a pod. So we have a gatekeeper and like what? A fanatic bishop, a fanatic crusader. Okay, so those two are fanatic inquisitors, an advanced priest. I, I can't believe they're giving me a squad of four that includes a gatekeeper. And that seems pretty mean. Okay, um, so I was right. I didn't necessarily want to come over in this direction. Um, hmm. Okay, I, yeah, okay, this is fine. We will probably, you know, activate those guys on our next turn. I'm okay with that. But what it does mean Finally. is I need to get in some halfway decent positioning here. I do feel bad about the one resistance guy. I know I just made a joke about it when it happened, but I always have a little bit of the role playing thing going when I do this. So I don't like losing anyone, no matter who it is. But obviously, if I have to lose someone, I would 100% choose an NPC who's not really part of our squad. Okay, I guess I'll come here. I don't love this, but Affirmative. Covering now. See, I I don't want to come here. I'm worried if these things move toward us. Yikes. I'm just going to do this. Affirmative. Covering now. Hmm. I think that I will stay put just so that I can see what that other group does. If anything. It's kind of weird to me that these guys have lightning reflexes, but I guess now that I look, they do have like swords or something on their back. So they're, they're kind of like a stun lancer with psionic powers, which Frankly, is something I didn't really need to see in my life. Do we want to focus on this guy? Yeah. 
This could be a tough fight. I have very awkward positioning. And we already know these clowns are a bear to kill. I might want to use suppression. Let's see what else happens here. Will remote start do me any good at all? Nope. Um, so if I come here, this is the only guy I'll be able to see, which is not terrible because it means I would have a chance to kill him without, you know, revealing myself to anyone else. Winding protocol, that's not terrible. But of course, what I really want is to just shoot the guy, right? I mean, I want him dead, not disoriented. I skirted him. Okay, okay. Yeah, see, I need a grenade on that dude. Let's go ahead and just go for this. So, another stasis, I think. Oh, no, he has health left. Never mind. He had a little more than I thought he did. I can't see him from here? Really? Okay. I'm going to wait. I so I was going to say I want the Mimic Beacon, but then the problem is I guess I need to save it for this group. So I just need, I just need to shoot that guy. On the move. It's really, really the complex strategy that I have arrived at. Okay, and I think he actually died, which is something of a relief. Now, I have three actions left, but he doesn't get to shoot. He can only suppress or overwatch. I'm thinking we suppress. Okay, now. Um, I'm gonna come here. I am at your service. I want to be close enough that I actually, you know, can potentially do something. <sighs> These guys use psionic powers, so I kind of hate to go any closer, but... Hold on. If I were so inclined. Yeah, you know what? I don't need to be any closer. I was going Overwatch. And then that way, if the other group moves forward, you know, I don't really have to worry about it. So the suppression probably helped. It reduces their aim. He took a shot and he missed. So I'm going to call that a win. And I, I think what I want to do here is um, blow his cover. We, we're going to have a hell of a time trying to get through if we don't. So it just makes sense. Oh, I see. I don't have line of sight. All right. You know, it's fine. Because he does... And he has quite an excellent chance. But let's do this. Back in. We were low on ammo. No need to risk that. And he kicked the holy hell out of him too. That's nice to see. Um, I do not have a guaranteed shot here. So let me pull back even a little bit more and I'm going to take my 91% chance if I hit him. And I did. I shouldn't be revealed. 
Nope. All right. Well, I'll reload in Overwatch. Overwatch. I will reload in Overwatch. <laughs> and I will, let me think, I'll reload and maybe go on Overwatch. Just a thought. And I'll just reload. But I won't go on Overwatch. Okay. Now I know my Reaper at the least needs more ammo. I can't imagine he's actually going to need it, but I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and see if that other group... Oh, no, I can't see him, so... Top off. I might use Banish, but, I mean, admittedly, it's not amazing when you only have three rounds of ammunition. I mean, she's all the way up there, so... Ooh, man. Covering now. You know, it's funny, man. Even just taking on one of these pods at a time. Uh, uh, it's been kind of tense, if I may say it. Just the fact that these stupid priest-type enemies that they have, like, they don't want to die, you know? They're like those inflatable clowns. You punch them, and they go down, and they bounce back up, and they bounce back up, and they bounce back up every time. Let's come here. Okay. So I saw it again. So, okay, but I still can't see most of their group, which is distressing. I guess I could come here. Moving as ordered. Don't love that. Okay, at least I can see them all now. That was my goal. My goal for next turn is like, maybe I can come over here or here or something. I don't, don't want to get my poor Reaper trashed. The other thing I wanted to see is if I use Remote Start, what will it do? I can at least hit this guy. Okay. Uh, hang on just a second. Do I still have a Claymore? I should. No, I only had the one. Okay. I thought we had taken, you know, the ability that gives you a second. Clearly, that was not the case. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. It's not. Yeah, I think this is safe. But the preview window is kind of scaring me. All right, let's just brace. All right, I tell you what. I don't like going out of cover, but. I think I have a better angle of approach from this side because of that vehicle. Finally. Oh. Thankfully, I was able to take advantage of it. Okay, you stay where you're at. I'm just go in Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. <sighs> okay. So, um, do I want to use remote start or just a grenade? It's a pretty good grenade, but hold on a second. Hold on.
Yeah, I mean, I'm only hitting one guy. So this, even though it's 12, which is good, I'm hitting one guy. Hmm. All right. I'm going to do this. I'm on it. And then... I'm going to use the grenade and we'll go from there. This is really good. I mean, the only thing I don't like about it is I'm wrecking a lot of cover, but they get to move. So they'll probably go to other cover. In fact, this could reveal my Reaper. We'll see. Yep. Oh, God. Don't shoot him. Okay, good. Hit him. Okay. Target still up. I need to move very clearly. I can't stay here. Hmm. The problem is, like, I really don't want to do a straight pullback. And it's kind of my only good move. Okay, I can do that, though. What if I moved, well, that's actually really stupid. Hold on, only 65%. Hmm. So Banish is not gonna be good against him. That's what I was thinking about. I could shred all of them, get some damage in. I almost think I should use Banish on this guy. And then give him an extra action to move off. It's just not... It's just Banish sucks when you only get three shots. That's what I'm kind of realizing as I sit here. It's like... Okay, you are 100% going to use your Mimic Beacon. There's no other outcome that's acceptable there. That's kind of awkward too, because I need to make sure they all see it. What if I throw it? See, I'm worried this guy won't see it. What if I like put it here? That's safe. They'll definitely see it. What I wanted was to pull them forward more, but I mean, you kind of have to be realistic about it. I don't have any grenades that I can use. Well, if I don't, I don't. Let's just take the shot that I've got and hope for the best. Okay. I mean, what are you going to do? Sit and cry about it? Let's take the full cover. I want to at least try and take someone off the board here. The Gatekeeper, I just have no chance whatsoever. Let's kill this idiot if I can. Did I at least? Okay. I mean, it ain't much. But it's something. I just wish that it meant he couldn't attack. 
that's the bummer part. Yeah, I don't get any freebies. Let's come here. This is the safest. Relatively speaking. <laughs> um, hmm. You know what would be hilarious is if you could give a Mimic Beacon aid protocol. You can give a Mimic Beacon aid protocol. I gotta try. I mean... How can I not? That's just amazing. If I can absorb all three shots, that's fantastic. Oh, well, that worked out really well, didn't it? Is he healing himself? Hmm. He didn't heal himself. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what Elder's Cleansing was. But he put my Marine into stasis. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, well, that wasn't great. Tried to protect him. So I definitely think I'm going into shadow here. That really sucks too, man. I have no explosives at all. What about... Uh, yeah, I can't, hold on. I can use combat protocol. I can. How about I do this? I'm going to move over one notch to the full cover. And then I'm going to use combat protocol on this guy and try and take somebody off the board. If the game lets me, which most of the time it won't, I'm pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> okay. So what I'd really like to do is shred this thing, but I'm kind of screwed because my Marine is the one who can shred and he's in stasis. What if I moved here Damn it, I can't see the guy. All right, whatever. If nothing else, at least, oh, I missed. I'm trying to spread out so that um, he won't have a good gateway. I'm thinking, go back into shadow. And come up here. I'll be there soon. And maybe next turn I can reload and do something. But getting him out of harm's way is pretty key. I'm going to try. This will going to be a kill if I can get it. It's not a good shot, but damn. Yeah, I didn't get it. Okay. Oh, hey, Ray. You want to come down? All right. Let me go ahead. I'm going to just keep taking shots here, I think. Okay. 
So at least we got two of the four. And I'm not saying it's good, but it's two of the four. This doesn't seem good. We are getting beat to hell. Okay. Okay. Um. Awkward. I can't kill this thing this turn, even like if I was able to, because it will kill my field medic. Let me do this at least. She would do the most damage. Uh, let me move. It doesn't matter where I move. He can get to me. I'm going to take this shot while he's unprotected. Or it's unprotected. It's still wow. Okay. That's pretty rough. So again, I, I need to keep my distance here. I can't cluster and give that thing a good gateway target. I just can't do it. It's suicide. Here's what's bugging me. Um, I'm not killing it this turn. And what I really want to do is have it where there's not two guys shooting at me. So I want so badly to kill this thing. And I just don't see how I can do it. Maybe this way. Problem is, this thing is going to do the same thing. Whatever. You know what? I guess that will be okay. I have to do what I can do. Okay. Okay. It's dead. It has to be dead. So the good news is we're down to just one guy now. And the bad news is it's a gatekeeper. And I'm not taking this shot because my poor Reaper is ready to die. So I'm thinking I just take my best shot. So he's down to 22 health and now he'll shell up again. And so... I think I hollow target here. And at least next turn, we have a better chance to hit him. I'll go ahead and do Overwatch. I can't imagine it's going to come into play. So there's Gateway, but at least he's only going to hit one or no people. I think. I don't think he hit any of us. Okay. By the way, do I have another med kit? Nope. Didn't bring one. Did not bring one. You know, I may come to regret that. <laughs> well, let's do this. I have a 100% chance. Let's take the shot. Okay. Well, that works. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. But I lost my guy in the explosion, I guess, even though it moved away. No, it's the resistance guy. Whew. 
Ooh. That was a tough, tough fight. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. These new variants of the priest and the fact that they can go into that sustain mode at least two turns in a row. I don't even know what the high water mark for that is. Uh, but that, it just makes it very difficult, particularly because the way they've structured that ability, and this is true in, you know, for regular priests as well. But when they go into that stasis, you can no longer hurt them, of course. But they come out at the beginning of the alien turn and get to take their full actions. So in terms of, you know, like you can't reduce their ability to do anything. You know, like I could disorient them, but when they come out of stasis, they won't be disoriented anymore. You can make them burn and they won't be burning anymore. No matter what you do, if they go into that sustain mode, it's like whatever you had done just doesn't matter. And they can act against you at full effectiveness. So it's very tough because as you saw, like they just come out of that and then nail your ass. And they don't just shoot, they have those stupid psionic abilities. So very challenging enemies to go up against for sure. At least we got some rewards out of it, but holy crap, man. All right, listen, I'm actually grateful. <laughs> Ross Washington, fear of missed shots. We missed a fair bit. I'm not going to start whining and crying about the RNG, but that was just one of those missions. Sometimes you get one where it goes, you know, better than the odds might suggest. This one I feel pretty confident saying we, we missed a couple of more shots maybe than, you know, the odds would have suggested we would. It happens. Hey, Ray. You want to come down? So, okay, well, um, poor... Washington, our Reaper, is going to be down for the count the longest. Um, Yamada, who was bleeding out, is only out for 16 days. <laughs> what do you think? Where was your advice, huh? I needed you there, little buddy. I'm a little anxious about doing this right now. Um... I believe we need to do another mission here, uh, like pretty much now. Hold on just a second. Yeah, in one day. When this facility lead finishes, I'm going to turn it over to Saiken. So, let's see. What was he scanning for? None of those was he making a radio tower or anything. Let me just do this because we have so little time. For the South African sector. And I don't want to drag this out. We'll just scan for intel for the day. I think you will find our you results go. have exceeded expectations. Alien facility mission in New Arctic unlocked. Okay, well, I'll do this. I mean, this specimen, known to our troops as the Advent Priest, has up until recently been rarely sighted outside the city center. While not physically intimidating, it's okay, right? Okay. What else can we research? Um, you know, I kind of just want more intel. Um, looks like he was working on the Archon at one point. I just want another data pad. begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have uh, but we're done. So that's all. We're um just to make this clear. We're just one pip away 
from being back on the doom clock, which we don't want to do for fairly obvious reasons. Uh, so I'm going to turn it over to Saiken so that he can go do the alien facility now that we have that lead. That'll help, you know, push it back down. Thankfully, even though this mission definitely took a toll, you know, the roster coming into it was in really good shape. So I think he's okay. Um, you know, in hindsight, what I kind of wish I'd have done was not brought the Reaper, even though he was very useful. But I kind of wish I'd have saved it for Saiken. Because if need be, he could have even done a stealth run where he just, you know, beelined and did the explosives using just the Reaper, you know, and shadow mode. Uh, so, but I don't think he likes to play that way anyway, so he probably wouldn't have done it. But anyway, if you want to see what he does do, then I suggest being on his channel tomorrow. But that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope we see you next time.